Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to be uh, unboxing. I got a brand new set of the Hemisphere C631 receivers here. Uh, going to do a little unpacking to a uh, little disclaimer. I did already take a lot of stuff out of the wrapper because no one really wants to see that, but open up the kit and kind of show you guys what's in this thing. <clears throat> this is our case that we have here. It contains both the base and rover. I added the cool Hemisphere decal. I had an extra one. Um, so basically we get this kit here and then our uh, UT30, which is our data collector, comes in a separate box, but it's got room in here for this. So let's get it opened up. Latches on here. We've got two latches just on the front. The nice positive lock. Yeah, that's a little flaw that we're going to have to figure out there. We've got the antennas stored nicely up here, but like to fall out when you open it. We'll get to those in just a second. So start here. we got a lot going on in here, but we got a lot of good stuff in here too. So we'll start first with the main item. These are our receivers. Uh, similar size to I would call like a Topcon Hyper-V. Uh, down here on the bottom, we've got our two battery doors. Um, you can see this is a lock. If you slide that over, you can lock the door and then it's got a release button on the side. We've got two batteries that go in these receivers on these batteries this is really nice i think they got status indicator lights charged those up last night they just lock in slide over easy peasy so both receivers are the same uh, next we'll move on to we've got four of the batteries I showed you got the status indicators on them these are 3400 milliamp hour batteries um, i don't know the exact specs but i think we can get i want to say it's 12 to 16 hours out of these batteries is what i'm being told on a full charge so i'm excited to try that out i'll do some more videos uh, covering that next we got our there's a ut30 data collector so really nice setup i really like this android um we're running site metric survey but you can see this thing it's thin it's light it's got great battery performance really nice bright screen really easy to use uh ram mount is what holds our data collector the kit comes with the five or six inch ram arm and the generic ram clamp we've been pulling those out on these and we go to uh, the little three inch ram arm with the standard little ram ball clamp just think they work better sets up better on the rod i'll do some more stuff showing how we get this thing all set up and looking nice on there uh does come with a quick connect for your rover i've already got on my i got a nice Kia carbon fiber rod over here that i've got set up with the male part of the quick connect it's nice that it comes in the kit though you don't have to add that it goes with the ram arm we've also got our uh bracket that allows us to get our antenna out from under the receiver and point it up since these antennas do install down i'll install those in just a second but really nice aluminum nice connectors easy to put on let's see one of my favorite parts back to this tablet i'm jumping around a little bit but usb-c charging which is nice because i'm an android guy so i've got a ton of usb-c stuff so there's a charger for it but it's not anything unique or special you got USB-C, you got a charger for your data collector. Tape measure. Um, these are the battery chargers for our batteries. Very simple. One thing I do like about these is they have the charge indicator on them, just showing you red, yellow, green, whether, you know, what status you're, obviously you can look at status on the batteries, but tell you where your status is at charging. We've got two of those so we can charge all four batteries at once. They also went ahead and provided car chargers for each one that also have USBs in them. 
pretty slick little setup. Nice to get all the goodies from the get-go instead of having to get extra stuff. So we got a serial cable for connecting to the receivers. We've got a power cable, SAE connector here. Pretty straightforward. Um, or if we needed to get battery power to our receivers. And then here we've got the uh, connector, but this cable also has, I could open these up, but I'll get into these a little bit more later because I'm gonna work on getting an SMB 900 connected to this, but it's got our power cable and a serial port as well where we can get connected. Uh, some, hopefully get some serial outputs out of our receivers. So back to receivers on the bottom here. We've got our antenna port here. I spoke earlier about these antennas that fall out. So if you look at this, this is our first antenna. So it's a 450 megahertz, four DVI antenna. And then we've got a 900 megahertz, three DVI antenna. Now why we have two antennas is because these receivers have dual boards in them. So we've got a spread radio and a UHF radio inside of these. Don't have to swap them. We can just swap between them uh, all on the data collector. So depending on what, what board I'm looking to run is what antenna I install. They install on the same ports. Real easy to put on. Same thing with the 900. So here we got our Limo ports for hooking up our cables. Um, we'll get more into the indicator lights on the front. I haven't messed with them enough to really give you a good indication of what each one of those means. It's going to be pretty simple. Satellites, radio, battery, and Bluetooth. But I'm sure they're going to have different flashing mechanisms that allow you to know what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty basic overview of the kit and what is all contained in it. Real excited. Going to get everything charged up. We're going to go put this thing out in the field. Hopefully today, if not tomorrow morning, and we'll uh, we'll get you some guys more feedback on what we're looking at.